yeah so mm -hmm. good morning to all of my benders and non-benders out there whether you're fire nation air nomad earth kingdom or water tribe good morning thank you guys for tuning in again for this video i know it's been a minute life has been lifing but i finally got an off day and i decided to do something different and just vlog take you guys with me on a day where i run a few errands here and there i checked my account this morning so i won't be doing all the things that i want to do but i will be going to target getting a few things i was going to try and go to the asian supermarket depending on how much i spend in target i might go there i might not buy anything but i just do want to um just look around and explore you know since i have an off day i kind of want to just not sit at home um sometimes sitting at home can drive you a little crazy but sometimes when you do have a day off you just want that time at home to just not do nothing but this morning i just had the itch to go and do something so i just decided to make a video about me you know just vlogging doing everyday things so hopefully you guys will like it don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know how my vlogging was I tried to vlog a few days ago on another off day that I had, but it didn't it didn't go well. It did not. Um, you know, I was always one of those people who found it weird seeing other people record out in public and now look at me doing the same shit. But um, yeah, just gonna run a few errands today. Take y'all along with me. Nothing major. Ordered some new books and i'm gonna do a mini haul later on when i get home y'all pretty much know what it's gonna be about so a mini haul later on but first i'm gonna go stop and get me some breakfast at mcdonald's and then we're gonna just go ahead and get the day started so yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe and here we go long ago the four nations lived together in harmony then everything changed when the fire nation attacked only the avatar the master of all four elements could stop but when the world needed him most he vanished mm. This fucking McDonald's. This line is always long. Shit. I had a sausage McGriddle and a hash brown. Sausage McGriddle and hash brown? Yes, ma'am. So, y'all, I made it to Target, but when I was at McDonald's, they had to pull me aside for a freaking sausage McGriddle and a hash brown i'm not mad because it was fresh but still like it shouldn't take that long for a hash a hash brown and a sausage mcgriddle so i'm gonna finish up my mcgriddle in the parking lot and target and then we're gonna get to getting okay because it's 10 30 i mean it's not late but you know how you have a plan or like a time frame on when you want things done they just kind of messed up my time frame. Like, I have all day, but I don't want to be out all day doing errands, you know? Because spending money is tiring. Like, once you spend all you need to spend, you're tired. You and it's time to go home. It's time to go home. So, yeah, I'm going to finish this real quick. And then I'm going to head on to Target and get what we need to get. All right, here we go. This is really awkward recording because there are a lot of people around. Um, I know they're not paying me no attention, but you know, it's just it's just weird. It's something new. But yeah, just walking around getting some things that I need. Right now I'm in a frozen section. Just getting my um, frozen dinners and stuff throughout the week for lunch. So I finished my shopping trip in Target. Now I'm at five and below. And then when I leave five and below, I'm gonna head over to the beauty supply store because I need some shampoo and stuff. Um, but yeah, I spent too much money. Insufficient funds! In Target, I spent way over the budget, but it was stuff I needed, I guess. So after these two stores, the beauty supply store and five below, I'm taking my ass home and I'm sitting my ass down, taking a nap. And then we're gonna do my little mini haul. So see y'all in a minute. Oh, 
hope you enjoyed the little blog portion of the video. Um, just a little heads up, that vlog was filmed almost four weeks ago. Yeah, your girl has not been motivated to do anything. Once I ended the little recording of me going out doing my errands and stuff, I was really, really tired and really, really drained. And I kind of put this off, but here I am now finishing the video. Gonna do this little mini book haul. Trying to hold myself accountable and be more consistent on putting out content. It's really hard. It's harder than what I expected because I also work. So with me being like being at work and then coming home and trying to muster up motivation to film is really, really hard. So shout out to all of my content creators who do this full time. Y'all the goats. But anyway, hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. And here we are now. I'm going to do the little mini book haul. I did order one from Amazon and then I went to Books and Million and picked one up. But there are two comic books, library edition, really big hardback uh, versions. I don't know if any of y'all know, but the comic book series has been out for a while. Comic books kind of take place after the whole war and the defeating of Fire Lord Ozai. You should pick some of those up. They're really good, really short, really quick reads. Um. Which ones have I read? I read The Search that pretty much talks about the backstory of Zuko's mom and him and Aang go and try to find her. You know, in one episode where they talk about Zuko's mom, you find out that, you know, she was banished. Um, Fire, Lord Ozai, Fire Lord Ozai, tongue twister. Fire Lord Ozai sent her away, but we don't really know why she was sent away. So you find that out in that little series i've also read the promise the promise takes place pretty much around the same time after defeating fire lord ozai and you know ang and zuko have this new fresh friendship and it's just some stuff going on like with politics and you know stuff just kind of getting back to normal after the whole hundred year war ang and zuko kind of have this Thing going on where Zuko kind of asks Aang to make a certain promise that Aang doesn't necessarily agree with. I, like I said, I don't want to get into too much. Don't want to spoil anything, but y'all should really check them out. The one about Zuko's mom, the search, and then the little back and forth between Aang and Zuko called The Promise. There are others on my list that I want to read. Um, like I said, the comic book series has been out for a while. I just kind of took a break from reading and like doing all of my research and stuff. So, library edition of the comic book that I picked up from Books A Million is this one. It's called Imbalance. I have not opened it yet, of course. It's still in the packaging. Really big, really nice. Can't wait to open it and smell the fresh pages because... I don't know all my book readers out there i don't know it's something about opening up a new book and like just flipping the pages and smelling like the fresh printed pages it just it just smells so new you know like the new car smell you just hop in a new car and you just take it all in mm, love it i paid maybe around 42 43 dollars for it uh what is this one about i read it but i don't remember um when ang Katara, Sokka, and Toph return to Earth and Fire Industries, a factory owned by Toph's father. Remember now, Toph comes from a wealthy family, if y'all don't know, uh, House of Bayfong. The flying boar symbol, they got some money. The factory owned by Toph's father, Aang is surprised that their arrival is met with a cold shoulder. As soon as the team is asked for help at a business council meeting, the reason for the slight becomes clear a massive bender versus non-bender conflict has gripped the town and is threatening to turn violent in order to heal the divide and save the town Aang and the team will face tough decisions about power and identity that could tear them apart hmm yeah interesting i like i said i have not read it i have not been keeping up with any of the comic books lately i really feel like this comic book will kind of like the beginning of um what's the city republic city in legend of Korra, where you have benders and non-benders where they come together and all that junk i really feel like this might be what this is like an introduction i don't know don't quote me i could be wrong like i said i have not read any of the comic books in a while i need to refresh so don't come for me come for your mama 
So the other book that I picked up, well, I ordered this one from Amazon. I paid around the same amount. This one is Smoke and Shadow. Let's read. Zuko and Mai dig deep into Fire Nation history to unravel the mystery of a children's story come to life. The, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Hmm. Soon after returning home, following the events of the search. So it is after the search. Soon after returning home, following the, event, the events of the search, Fire Lord Zuko discovers that a rebel organization calling itself the New Ozai Society. The New Ozai Society has slowly gained traction among the Fire Nation's citizens. Its goal? Assassinate Zuko. No. No. No, 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 no. This is a Zuko stan account. I will never forget when I was first introduced to Zuko when Avatar first came out, my womanhood was awakened. And I just want to say that Zuko will forever always be my husband. Don't come for me, come for your mama. I love Zuko. Like book one Zuko, uh, book two Zuko, uh, but book three Zuko? Hell yeah. Hubby material for sure. Anyway, it's gold. Assassinate Zuko and restore Ozai to the throne. How the fuck you gonna? Before the country perishes, laying evidence to their claim of a nation at risk are the shadowy, I do not know how to pronounce that word. It is K-E-M-U-R-I-K-A-G-E. -E. I wanna say, I'm not going, I'm not even gonna try. Figures originating in myth who are kidnapping children across the Fire Nation. As fear takes root in the capital, Zuko, Mai, and their families become entangled in a dangerous plot executed by someone they least expect. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. This one sounds good. I'm going to have to go and reread the search just to refresh my memory. And then I'm going to have to pick this up and read this. This sounds really, really good. Now I'm going to move on to the last book that I picked up, well, that I ordered when I ordered this one. I don't know if y'all have been keeping up with the uh, the other books. So, you know, we have the little series with Avatar Kiyoshi. We have um, The Rise of Kiyoshi and we have The Shadow of Kiyoshi. I read The Rise of Kiyoshi. I have not read The Shadow of Kiyoshi. I do have it in my room. Like I said, I've just been busy doing a lot of stuff and I haven't been able to catch up on my reading. Also, right now I am in the process of reading the newest installment of the Hunger Games series, which is really, really good. I, I can't think of the name, but it's the backstory on President Snow. A little tidbit, President Snow, um, he has not always been a man of money. He That's neither here nor there. Neither here nor there, Jesus. Author who is in charge of the whole Avatar Kiyoshi series. He has also come out with another installment of The Dawn of Yang Chen. She is the Avatar before Avatar Kurok. So it's Yang Chen, Kurok, then uh, Kiyoshi. But I have not began this. I just know I really needed to go ahead and order it. And I think the second installment of this one is coming out soon. I wanna say in the summer of this year i'm not sure but i know i will be picking it up and i will be doing a review hopefully i can get on track with my reading because it has been terrible i'm that type of person i'll have like 10 books at home that i have not read yet and will go out and buy three to five more books like it ain't nothing i have a problem here she took longer to answer, and by the time she did, her eyes were dry. Her voice collected and crisp. What am I going to do with you? I'm not sure yet, but you don't have to worry. With all the information in your head and all the ways you're connected, you're more valuable than you ever were before. The day Kavik first met the Avatar, he'd explained the mantra, the mantra by which Ben-Ur operated. My pronunciation is horrible. You're not worth anything until someone else decides you are. She had gotten truly upset 
down to her core. Then later, they were discussing his payment in exit passes. She'd clearly balked at their deal simply because she was uncomfortable with the idea of using him. And now she spoke as if he were grist from the mill, as if the kindest, fiercest, most giving part of her had broken completely. I made a mistake in trusting you, Kavik, Yang Chen said. You're not one of my companions. She stood up from his bed and squared her shoulders, but you might still be one of my assets. Hmm. Okay, Yang Chen. Authoritative. I have this one. Dawn of Yang Chen. Smoke and Shadow. Uh, library edition I got from Amazon. This follows the search. I also have this one, Imbalance. Like I said, I'm not sure, but I really feel like this is kind of the introduction to the um the birth of Republic City. That is pretty much all I have for this video. Hope y'all liked it. I will read them. I don't know when I'm going to read them, but I will read them and I will update y'all. going to be more consistent with my videos and my recordings. Also, ignore my hair. I went to work. I was going to take a nap and I pinned it up because I didn't want to like, you know, have no bed head. See, I have... A little silk press going on my birthday was last week and i got my hair done i want to make it last for as long as possible i have my hair pinned up because i do have plans for another video that i want to do it's just me sitting talking while working on a cosplay and i do not want to get the stuff that i will be using in my hair i'm not going to tell you i need for you to go and watch the video but anyway yeah that concludes my little mini book haul like i said i'll keep y'all updated i will try to read as much as i can um be more consistent get my content out and yeah that's all um i'll see y'all in my next video bye ho